workandlearn2.com, putting the fun back into learning. Hard and soft water. When rain falls on rocks containing magnesium or calcium compounds, some are soluble in water, for example, calcium sulphate and magnesium sulphate, and these are washed out of the rock. Other insoluble compounds, such as calcium carbonate in limestone, can dissolve in slightly acidic rainwater. Rainwater becomes acidic because carbon dioxide gas dissolves in it. This forms carbonic acid. The weak carbonic acid slowly reacts with and dissolves away the calcium carbonate in the rock as it passes over to form calcium hydrogen carbonate. As the calcium hydrogen carbonate is soluble in water, it dissolves and its calcium ions get into the water. It is the calcium ions and the magnesium ions that cause hardness in water. Disadvantages of hard water. If water contains calcium or magnesium ions, these react with soap solution to form scum, which is a white flaky precipitate. Note that scum is not formed if soapless detergents are used, which are what most modern shower gels and washing powders are today. As it is more difficult to form a lather with soap, more soap is needed, which costs money. Scum also coats sinks and baths and clothes when they are washed. When temporary hard water is heated, it becomes soft as the calcium and magnesium ions react with carbonate ions to form a solid called a precipitate. This is called scale and is a hard crust which forms inside kettles and hot water pipes and cylinders. This wastes energy as scale is a poor conductor of heat and can cause heating elements to fail. All of these problems cost money. Please note that permanent hard water remains hard when it's boiled. It's not all bad though, there are some advantages of hard water. Some people prefer the taste. Calcium ions are good for healthy bones and teeth. Magnesium ions may help prevent heart disease. And some brewers prefer using hard water for making beer. Removing hardness from water. This can be done by adding sodium carbonate or washing soda. This reacts with the calcium and magnesium ions to form a precipitate of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. You can also use a commercial water softener such as an iron exchange column. These contain hydrogen ions or sodium ions on tiny resin beads. These replace the calcium and magnesium ions when hard water passes through the column. The calcium and magnesium ions are exchanged for sodium or hydrogen ions and these do not cause hardness in water. Testing for hard water. To find out how hard water is, soap solution is added until a lather is formed. It must be soap, not detergent. If water is hard, it will take a lot of soap to make a lather and scum will form on the surface as a white flaky precipitate. If the water is soft, it won't take much soap to make a lather. If, after boiling, the water forms a lather with much less soap, the water has temporary hardness in it. Purifying water. Water of the correct quality is essential for life and should contain low levels of dissolved salts and microbes. This is achieved by selecting water from a source that has low levels of pollution and dissolved substances. 
The water is initially screened to remove large objects such as twigs and leaves and it then passes through many filtration stages to remove any solids. Flocculating agents are added to clump together very small particles so that they can be removed. The water is then sterilised with chlorine which kills bacteria. Some water companies add fluoride to improve dental health. Some people are concerned, however, that chlorine and fluoride compounds may cause health problems. However, according to water.org, a child dies every 20 seconds because they don't have access to clean water. So the advantages of adding chlorine and fluoride outweigh the potential disadvantages. Pure water, which has nothing in it except H2O, can be obtained by distillation. However, this is very expensive as it requires a lot of energy. Some people don't like the taste of their tap water and use water filters. These contain carbon to remove any taste or odour, iron exchange resins which remove any hardness in the water and also may contain silver ions which act as a biocide to prevent harmful bacteria forming in the water as the carbon removes the chlorine. Water filters improve the taste and the quality of the water but they are expensive as the filters need to be replaced regularly. This concludes this topic. Thank you for watching.